We're back in Vancouver, British Columbia, once again staying at the Best Western Premier Chateau Granville that's right in the heart of the city. This is actually one of our favorite cities in the country and it's definitely one of the most beautiful cities in the world. So if you're interested in exploring Vancouver, we're going to take you on a little tour right now and show you some of the top things to do in the city. We're Matt and Carla, a Canadian couple with two totally different backgrounds, sharing our experience and advice about traveling in Canada. So follow along as we continue to explore the second largest country on earth. To start things off, we're down here at Canada Place and the waterfront. Definitely one of the top things to do in Vancouver is to walk around the downtown city center such as Robson Street and just see the liveliness of the city. But then my favorite place is down here at Canada Place because you get to look out over the waterfront, you get to see the big ships coming in, sometimes you get to see float planes, you got all the seagulls around you, and you can even see North Vancouver on the other side, at least if you have a clear day like we have today. Another place you should visit that's not too far from the waterfront in Canada Place is Stanley Park. Personally, this is my favorite thing to do in Vancouver. We always try to visit when we come here because it's just such a beautiful place to go for a walk or to go for a bike ride. It's actually very popular with both locals and tourists thanks to the many trails you find throughout the park. It's actually 405 hectares, so it's quite big. There's more than half a million trees here, but my personal favorite thing to do here is to walk along the seawall. It's such a great place to get views of the ocean, you get views of Lionsgate Bridge, there's lots of beaches you can relax at, and there's also another pretty famous attraction within Stanley Park, the Vancouver Aquarium, which we're gonna go check out next. Opened in 1956, the Vancouver Aquarium is Canada's first public aquarium and is home to thousands of incredible ocean species and aquatic life from different parts of the world, providing a fun, informative and educational experience for the whole family. At the other side of downtown Vancouver, you'll find Granville Island, which is another popular spot as it's home to different restaurants, art studios, theaters, and a lot of different options for food inside the public market. Now we're at Queen Elizabeth Park, a 52 hectare park in Vancouver that's really popular with people who are interested in seeing flowers. Unfortunately, we're not quite here at that time of year when the flowers are in bloom, but I can imagine it would be quite beautiful. It's also our first time here and at 125 meters above sea level, it's actually the highest point in Vancouver, so you can get really spectacular views of the city and the mountains nearby. But today we're actually not here to really explore the park, we're here to see the Bloedel Conservatory. This domed lush paradise is an oasis within the city, housing more than 100 exotic birds and 500 exotic plants and flowers within its temperature controlled environment. This is really a great place for the entire family as well as a great place to escape the cold chilly days. And for us, we especially loved all the beautiful birds, many of which reminded us of some of the exotic destinations that we visited over the years. And not far from the Queen Elizabeth Park, another top attraction that we've never been before is the Van Donsen Botanical Garden. Created in 1966 by a group of gardening enthusiasts, the Van Dusen Botanical Gardens inspires understanding of the vital importance of plants to all life through their botanical collections, programs and practices. We really enjoyed walking around the gardens and taking a break from the hustle and bustle of the city. It's such a peaceful place and I can see why it has so many great reviews. Well, the Van Dusen Gardens were really beautiful, but it's unfortunate that we were here kind of in early spring. Obviously, a lot of the flowers have not started to bloom yet, but I can really imagine that that place must look uh, much more spectacular in late spring, summer, and probably in the fall as well. But right now, we're actually at Sunset Beach, a really popular beach that's pretty much in the heart of Vancouver. That's another one of the things we highly recommend to do while you're here is to go check out one of the beaches. You'll find some in the, the Kitsilano Beach is really popular. There's beaches over in Stanley Park, but I find Sunset Beach is the one that's like full of life. Like you know, there's people playing hockey across from me right now. There's people playing beach volleyball. Some people have their dogs out or just hanging out on the beach. And this is kind of one of the cool things that 
I always find about Vancouver because in Calgary we don't have this so just being able to relax on a beach is a pretty cool way to spend the day and to watch sunset. This is actually our last night in Vancouver on this trip but of course we've been here many other times so a few other things we would recommend of course is visiting Gastown that's one of the most popular neighborhoods in the city and it's basically where Vancouver got its start that's why it's a national historic site you'll actually find like cobblestone streets really old brick buildings and it's just a beautiful area to walk around with lots of shops and restaurants and of course the famous steam clock which is one of very few in the world Another place I'd highly recommend visiting is the Museum of Anthropology at the University of British Columbia. We've been there before. Right now it's actually closed until late 2023 for renovations, but it's such a great place to see both traditional and contemporary art from the Northwest Coast First Nations, as well as different cultures from around the world. When we were there, I think the thing that really stood out to us the most was all the totem poles. And last but not least, there's another popular attraction called the Capilano Suspension Bridge that's not far from downtown Vancouver. It's really popular because it's about 140 meters long and it's suspended about 70 meters over the Capilano River. People seem to love walking across that and they even have other activities there as well, such as a cliff walk and a treetop adventure. Uh, but yeah, other than that, of course, we've just listed some of the best things to do in the city, especially that are kind of easy to do, especially if it's your first visit. Of course, with a city of this size, there's many other things to do in Vancouver as well. Uh, so if you want a more extensive guide for more things to do in the city, just check out our Things to Do in Vancouver travel guide over at mustdocanada.com. And that's it for this video. So if you like it, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about Canada from coast to coast to coast.